filming a highly requested video showing you guys how I decant my fragrances. Now, if you're not familiar with decanting, basically all I'm going to do is take fragrance from this, you know, bottle that's the original packaging and put it into a smaller bottle um, that, you know, you can use as a travel spray if you want, or you could sell to somebody or just swap with somebody if they want to sample something, whatever it might be. Um, there's many reasons why people might want to decant, uh, but that's what I'm going to show you today. So I'm going to go through everything that I use, but I will preface it with this. If you are only making decants for yourself, you do not need all this stuff. Um, but if you are trying to make them nicer to give as a gift or to swap with a friend, or perhaps you want to sell them, um, I do sell decants, but I am not trying to sell decants right now because I do not have time to fulfill tons of orders. Um, but uh, whatever it is you're interested in, uh, depending on your reasons, you may or may not need all of this stuff. So um, I have a syringe, I have, and this by the way is called a Lure Lock, L-U-R-E, uh, lock syringe. It does not have a, a needle on it. Um, I have my fragrance or fragrances. I have this little pair of scissors and this needle that I heat up with this lighter in case I need to widen the opening of the syringe. I have my label waker, I have my regular scissors, and very importantly, I have Teflon tape. And this is a really good brand here, by the way. Um, not trying to sell it, not sponsored. I just have found that this one is pretty good. Um, if you're just decanting for yourself, then you would just need bottles. And I would recommend having the, you really should have the Teflon tape to help prevent not only leakage, but evaporation over time. Um, it's not going to fully prevent it, but it helps. You probably, you'll need some scissors um, and some sort of a label. If you have a label maker, great. But if you don't, then, you know, maybe like some sticky kind of labels, whatever it is you want to use. Um, the other stuff you probably won't need if you're just decanting for yourself. So um, let's go ahead and show you kind of my process and then I'll go through some variations or times when I might do something differently. So to start with, I like to label my bottles first, and I'm going to get rid of these two because I'm just going to um, fill, actually no, I'm going to fill this three milliliter one with Gallagher's Wicked Good. Um, and so I've already typed up my label here just for sake of time, and I'm going to print it real quick. And let me get rid of that. You can see I've burned my towel here. By the way, you want a towel too, because if you spill, um, especially if you're working on wood, you do not want your fragrances to get on there because it will not only absorb the fragrance, which might not necessarily be bad, but it could also discolor your stain of your wood if you have it stained. So um, you want to be careful with that. I'm working on glass, so it's not that big of a deal, but still, I like to have it um, for if I get like soot on it or something like that from wiping off the scissors before I use those or the nail, um, and also in case I do spill. So anyway, I have my label. I'm going to put it on here as straight as I can. Um, looks pretty good. I use these clear labels um, because they're what's called laminated. And so if you were to spill fragrance on them, they will not smear. Like they're basically like weatherproof sort of. So I do like them for that. I, I recommend that if again, you're like trying to make these nicer or give them as gifts or sell them, I think that's a good way to go. But if it's just for you, the label doesn't really matter as much. Um, so anyway, I have that ready to go. The next thing that I need to do is get my syringe ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this. I'm sorry about the crinkling. All right, there you go. Um, and so there's my syringe. And you, you can see how the opening is there, sort of, if it will focus. Um, so you're gonna take off the top of your fragrance. And sometimes you can check, and the syringe might fit fairly well. Now. I don't know if you can tell. This one looks like uh, the syringe opening is a little too small for this guy. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and widen that. So to widen this, I can either use the nail or the scissors, um, or you can literally find any metal thing that would fit inside of here that will help to open it up more. Um, I've just particularly found that this pair of scissors works quite well for this. Um, you know, whatever it is that you can find. I'm gonna heat it up, um, not crazy hot, but enough. And then I do like to wipe it off just in case there is any soot. Um, and then I'm gonna pull this back and go ahead while this is still warm and stick it in there. And I might have to do this a few times. So um, I will turn it halfway and stick it in again to just kind of make sure it opens up evenly. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and cut from this because I'm just gonna do this until I get it to fit. And you know, that could take a, only one more try. It might be done now. It could take 10 more tries. So I'm just gonna cut for now until I get this ready to go. Okay, so now I think I have this pretty 
well fitted and so I'm going to go ahead and put this on the top and then I'm going to pull my syringe up until I can extract three milliliters because that's the size of the bottle that I'm using. Okay, so um, I'm, I can't really, I guess I can tip it, but you can't see that it's three milliliters, but uh, that's three milliliters now. And then I'm just going to take it and inject it into my three mil bottle. And you can see it's not, well, Again, I can't really tip it that much for you to see, but it's not filled to the tippy top, which is good. It needs some room to um, be able to expand, especially if you're gonna ship these or something and they get jostled around. You do not want it to be filled completely up. But also I found that the bottles that you buy, like the three mil or five mil or whatever, they usually do give you a little bit of extra space. So if you measure out three milliliters, um, it will not be all the way to the top because it gives you that extra room. So anyway, now it's in here. Yay, successful. I'm gonna set that to the side for a second. And then I'm gonna get out my test on tape and I'm going to wrap it around the threads of the bottle. So this spool is almost out but I have another one um, for when I do run out. And I cut but I'm going to show you this actually helps me quite a bit. I cut it in half lengthwise so that, gosh sorry you guys probably can't see that. I cut it this Teflon tape in half lengthwise which is really hard to do on camera. <laughs> Um, because it's kind of a little bit too wide for the bottles otherwise and it looks sloppy and I'm not about being sloppy. <laughs> so I cut it in half lengthwise and then I wrap it around the threads nice and taut um, and I kind of smooth it out with my fingers so that it really is nice and secure on those threads. And then once I have that I'm going to go ahead and screw the cap on and um, there you can see it looks nice and clean. You can see the blue obviously through this clear plastic, um, but this particular Teflon tape is really, really good. And so I'd rather have a really high quality tape that's blue as opposed to like using white or something that might look a little bit slightly nicer, but not work as well. Um, so that's what I do there. Um, and then uh, you can kind of even that out, make sure the caps on good. There is your decant, voila, ready to go. Um, so that's basically my main procedure. Now, once I'm done with that and I'm ready to put my fragrance away, I will label this. So I didn't mention, and I didn't even get it out. <laughs> Let me grab it. I will use like a Sharpie or something to label what fragrance I put in here. Um, that way in the future, I can reuse the same syringe. You do not want to like cross contaminate or anything. So, um, you know, if you, like I said, if you're gonna be doing this a lot, this is a good idea to go ahead and label your syringes so that you don't have to be wasteful um, and also you don't cross contaminate. You remember which one's which. Now, some variations real quick. Sometimes you'll have a bottle like these replica bottles that the cap doesn't come off no matter how hard you pull and you probably shouldn't pull that hard because you're gonna break it. So in that case, um, there are like, if you're gonna decant a lot, I have seen these little like sort of tubey things that click on and then you can stick the tube down into your bottle um, and like spray like that. But um, I never decant more than 10 milliliters, so I just spray these directly into the bottle. You can also use a funnel um, if you wanted to, but for the most part, I found that it's pretty easy just to spray directly into the bottle if you have to go that way. I only do this when it's a bottle that I literally can't remove the, the spray top. Um, so that's one variation. Another variation is that sometimes, and let me show you this bottle, you'll come across atomizers or like whatever, the little tops that look like this. And if I show you the comparison um, between the Wicked Good, so most of them look, if I can get closer here, most of them look like the one that you see on Wicked Good, but some of them look like this one that you see on Baccarat Rouge 540. In which case, um, you can use the same syringes that I showed you before, but I found that there's this other syringe that's also available on Amazon where I buy pretty much all this stuff. It's a 20 mil one. And this one, the size of the opening fits really nicely. Oh, geez, you can't even see. <laughs> it fits really nicely onto this. It's much larger. But um, these really wide opening ones, these 20 mil syringes work well for. So that's another variation that sometimes I come across or have to deal with. And then, oh, I just sprayed myself. 
Now I smell like back Rouge 540 for the rest of the day. <laughs> um, uh, and then the other variation, which this is actually the best variation that you could have, is when you have a bottle like this or potentially a um, roller ball that you are going to decant, um, something along those lines, in which case you can actually use pipettes. So let me show you that real quick. So when you have a bottle like this Killian, or actually Serge Luton's often have the, the sort of refillable bottles where you can unscrew the top one, or you have a roller ball, then you can just use a pipette, which is fantastic. This is the easiest way of all. Um, I actually already did this particular roller ball and I don't have the top one anymore. So what I will do to show you how to get that off is link some videos. Um, I think Delicious Delights done one, I think Just Jane's done one, and then maybe also, um, I think maybe Cherie's done one. Uh, but anyway, um, I'll link the videos in which people show how to do this. But basically, you can kind of take the lid or just like, uh, you know, something to wedge underneath that rollerball and pop it out. And then once you've done that, you can just squeeze your little pipette, stick it down in the liquid, suck it up, and then squirt it into one of your decant bottles. Same idea. I don't need to decant this one right now, so I'm not going to because it's not precious. <laughs> um, but uh, if I were going to, for some reason, I could unscrew the top here and then just stick my pipette right down in there, suck some up and put it into my decant bottle. So that's super easy and you know, always a pleasant surprise when you can do that. Otherwise though, um, like I said, you can either just spray the bottle directly, you can use the syringes, which is what I use on a large scale. I think it's nicer, um, you know, it helps keep the fragrance from being exposed to as much air. Um, but um, if you are just going to do it for yourself, then you can probably just spray the bottle directly into the um, decant bottle. You can use a funnel or you can look into those um, little pieces that have the tubey that comes off that you put onto the atomizer, like onto this part um, that will help direct the, the flow of the spray. So anyway, those are some different ways in which you can decant. Like I said, if you're just doing this for yourself, then really you just need the bottle, the Teflon tape, and a pair of scissors. Um, and a label of some sort so you don't forget. Um, but if you are planning to do this on a bigger scale for whatever reason, then I, I will link all these supplies that I've used today. Well, most of them, like I'm not linking this cause you know where to find that and scissors. <laughs> Um, but I'll link the stuff that I buy off of Amazon or wherever down below. And um, hopefully this was helpful. If it was helpful, please do give this a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. You guys have been asking me a lot about this, so I figured I'd go ahead and do it for you. Um, also, if you have any tips or tricks or issues that you've come across while you were trying to decant your fragrance, let us know down below in the comments because I've certainly run across many things myself after doing this quite a bit, but I know that there is still more I could learn as well. So anyway, Anyway, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.